uh, just before we start I'd like to say a massive thank you to Derek Degs Adventures UK D-E-G-S Degs Adventures UK Cheers for the coffee Derek, much appreciated Excuse my sloping Yes, very uh, friendly guy, so go and check his channel out Digs Adventures Cheers again Derek How are you all doing? Right then, let's get some new expensive parts fitted to this top end Ok then, so we're going to start with the uh, Head and base gasket, head and base gasket, sounds a bit weird doesn't it? Uh, basically we want to work out which is the base and which is the uh, head gasket and it's uh, pretty easy really the head has got the uh, big cam chain at the top that one obviously doesn't fit so quite simple that one's the base gasket then we just have to uh, work out which way the dowels are and there is a uh, little seals, well little holes on these ones for the uh, little oil valves at the back which are these little things here I better take that bolt out as well bolt out for now so that goes on that way round with those little holes at the back oh we've lost the cam chain never mind we can still reach it then next we can install the uh, little locating dowels so let me go and find them right then so that's the two dowels fitted uh, next we can fit the pistons and all we need to do that is the com rod and the piston just slot it on the top not really, just kidding we'll use this 100 pound one <laughs> uh, things to note, uh, the gaps in the piston rings uh, they want to be about 10 minutes apart if you know what I mean so what I've done is like put one at 10 past no, put one at 10 to one at 10 past, one at 20 past one at 22, which is that one, and the other two, because there is six all together, are passed and on the clock. Now yeah, there's not six all together, there's five. Uh, I did just say in and MM6, so I'd imagine in is the inlet, so that must go to the back of the engine goes on like so and as you know there is a little circle up to go in so very advisable to put some cloth down there in case you drop the clip inside the engine ok that's a good squirt of oil a good squirt of oil on your con rod Conrad, Conrod, just insert the Conrod, Conrad, Plunky Torn, try and locate the hole, I can't see what I'm doing so it's a bit awkward for me, here we go, Yeah. 
so it moves nice and freely no play lovely and we just got to get the little circlip and push it inside okay then I'm not going to lie to you it is harder than it looks took about three seconds to get it out the other side it did take about 10 minutes to put it back in and in the end I found I did find that the easiest way was with a very small pair of pliers ok try to get it in the right position <laughs> I'm going to be here for six weeks I think that's it make sure it's definitely in because you don't want this to be coming out do you yeah so here we go yes I think it's definitely in so there you go, one piston in, three more to do, oh my god, so I'll see you in a bit. Ok then, so that's all the pistons on, and if you're wondering what the hell that is, that's one of my piston ring compressors, all it is is electrical tape, One of these cardboard gravy containers. Oh. So, make three more of those. I've done this before and it worked, but I must say that it didn't have these stems in the way. So it is a lot harder trying to get the tape round these rugby posts. So be with me and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm on the last one, but I thought at this point I'd just show you, just in case this actually does work, how I'm getting these cardboard sleeves around the rings. Just compressing them with my fingers, twisting the cardboard round, putting the tape tight, and they're doing the same. So, just push it down to the uh, top of the piston. I've seen people do these with the uh, spring compressors and they've got great big angles coming out here. Yeah. And they look absolutely stupid. And you can only do two pistons because two are down and two are up. So you can only do the two what are up. No, I didn't mean to do that. And you can't uh, bring these pistons up because if you bring these pistons up to put the uh, clamps on, these piston rings will pop back out of the cylinders. So them tools are stupid to me. I think you need individual tools if you're going to do it that way. But uh, you know me, no expense spared. I'll do it my way and hopefully it works that'll do it's getting on here let me take my coat off 
center, which is the front and which is the back, because there's the uh, there's the uh, spacer guide things. Oh, I better get that tape off and all, didn't I? Plonk it on the top. Try to get the uh, camp chain through the engine. Oh shit, it's quite heavy. Try and line all the pistons up. As you can see down there, those two are lined up. I've just got to try and line these two up. And I have to put you down to do it. Yeah, perhaps it'll be easier not having them all in one line. That's a bad idea, wasn't it? Just try and get two in at a time. Something's happening with that one. Try the other one. What I'm doing is just turning the uh, cardboard sleeves around. I think it's going. Yeah, that side's definitely going. Okay then, so I think I've got these two going. Better get the cardboard sleeve out. That's that one. That's the other one. I'm going to have fun trying to get the other ones in. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Rotate the engine with a spanner. Don't want to go any lower than that. Okay, so now we've just got to get these middle two in. Of course, it knocks you out when you stand up. All the heat's at the top of the shed. Nice and cool down here. Right then, excuse my big hands. I think we've gone down a bit too far. Going, it's going. There then. I'm going to try and get that cardboard out, anyway. Turn the engine over slowly. Ooh. Can we get to the cardboard? Do it touch more. Oh, you bastard. Okay, so this is an hour later. I'm not coming back to where I would get this on today. <sighs> I'm not sure how much of this you caught because the microphone was unplugged and I'm not sure when it unplugged. 
So, just in case you didn't hear what I was saying, basically, I'm trying to get the cardboard inserts out at the bottom. I winded the cylinders too far, and the piston rings came out on the outside. Obviously, fantastic. Yeah, I'm just using that, putting it under the cylinder, uh, teasing the piston rings back in. So that's what I'll do. And uh, yes, I totally agree. I am a I did get all the cardboard inserts out. They just leave one of them in the engine, is it? Let's go try and push these rings back in. Yes. I think I think we say yes. Come on you son of a bum. I think it probably would have been easier just to put the cardboard sleeves on the two inner ones and uh, done this on the outer ones. I think that's got it. And I've already done the other side. So hopefully Is that it? Please say that's it. Must be it, sure. Yes. Fantastic. Or should I say, perfectly splendid. That's it. You little rocker. Cocker. Now then. Suppose we best make sure the uh, engine rotates, haven't we? Come on. See that, can you? So that all turns over nicely. So give them a bit of a squirt. Plenty of oil in there. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Especially when you don't know what you're doing. Oh. So, simple as that. Yes, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's been useful to you. And uh, any questions or tips, please leave a comment down below. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching my video. Look after yourself, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. See you in another life, brother.